and Mandy again. <laughs> I didn't feel like drawing today, but I wanted to make a video, so I thought, why not? I'll show off my art supplies or something. <laughs> so this is going to be what's in my pencil box. And I have a lot of art supplies. I have a whole desk full of them, really, but I've been going through and trying to kind of get rid of what I don't use anymore. And this is mostly what I do use. And a lot of this is stuff that I've kind of acquired over the years, not really that I went out and bought specifically, except for a couple sets, like I bought a charcoal drawing set for portraits. But like all of these pencils, all the orange ones here are the charcoal set that I bought. But the rest of this is just stuff that I had. <laughs> so like, when I took my draw, well, I took a basic drawing class in high school, and so we had just some really, really simple drawing sets. Uh, you know, the standard 4B, 2H, rendering pencil, all that stuff that I don't use. <laughs> but I keep them here because I have them. I have a lot of these Ticonderoga ones, just the number two pencils. I use them to sketch out before I ink anything in or color it. Because I figure they're cheap and they're, the lead is really smooth and I like the way the erasers are. I put no erasers on them, but like, these are just a good reliable pencil for me. And I just stick with what I like. And like these, I used to keep them for like portrait drawing and stuff, which I haven't done for a while. I might get back into it soon, but I haven't used these for a bit. And then like right next to it, I got glue. I don't glue many things, but I've got it. <laughs> and like this, if you see my Watch Me Draw videos, this is the whiteout pen that I use. It's just from the dollar store. I mean, it's nothing special, but you pop off the cap. And it's not just like a dot thing you have to like what well, kind of works like that but you kind of have to squeeze the side to get any more of it out and it's good for dots not really good for lines but I still try to do lines <laughs> and I use that uh, I have this gel pen here it does not work I kind of tried to do this before I got the whiteout pen but for some reason I keep it in here with the hopes that it'll work someday somehow <laughs> I've got scissors. I haven't cut anything, but I'm always losing my scissors, so I keep them here so I don't, you know, forget where at least one pair is. Uh, this X-Acto knife, I actually haven't used it for any kind of drawing or anything. I know some people will lay down a lot of colored pencil and then they'll scrape away some designs. I haven't tried that yet, but I might in the future. But, I mean, keeping it somewhere is a good idea instead of just leaving it floating around your room. And then I've got a bunch of these guys. I know some people who call them stumps, or like, they're just like a generic kind of blender thing. And I've got all kinds of sizes and stuff. Some of them are used, some of them I haven't even touched. Well, I mean, I've touched them, but I haven't used them. But, I don't know. I should probably use these more often, shouldn't I? <laughs> but I've got those. And then I've got a ton of erasers. These high polymer ones I use... I prefer them because I don't get any black marks or anything. They stay nice and soft. I've had a lot of like the pink erasers and stuff or I don't know what they're called. They're like the gummy ones where they're brown and you, not really transparent but you can kind of see light through them. I've had so many of those crumble and get hard and not really erase anything well. So I just prefer these because I, I don't have anything that I'm really trying to lighten. I'm just trying to erase everything when I erase. And I've got a couple needed erasers. Uh, these are mostly for when I do portraits and stuff. I haven't even opened this one yet. I'm waiting till this one's all black and not even really usable anymore. But I've got like a bunch of erasers. I've got pencil cap erasers like nobody even knows. I've got so many of these. I put them on every pencil I use and I've still got a ton extra. And like these ones are actually high polymer ones also. They're not just regular generic ones. These are just regular generic ones, the colored ones. But I've been trying to use the white ones because, like I said, I don't get as many black marks. It stays nice and squishy instead of crumbling or anything. So, and then I've got sharpeners. Sharpeners like there's no tomorrow. They're going out of business. I've got five here. I've got a big one here that collects whatever I sharpen into it, which is nice because I don't like putting shavings on my drawings. And I've even got like a couple more that I don't even keep in here. I've got one that I keep... I have a big colored pencil box that's just kind of generic uh, colored pencils. I keep one in there that's kind of contained. I have just random ones floating around my room. <laughs> so I've got those. And then these are a bunch of drawing pens, sharpies. 
like I said, lots of stuff that I've kind of collected over the years. I've got three or four different kinds of sets of drawing pens, and so they're all kind of shoved in here. I have a calligraphy pen, which is kind of probably dangerous and sharp to keep just floating somewhere, but I've got that. And like, I've got sets, oh, if I can set them down for a minute, like, let's see, not these ones, these are the wrong ones. But these micro line ones are the ones that I usually draw with. I like the different sizes of them, and I like that they mark how wide each one is. Because these ones, these are Artist Loft, and they're probably the same pens, but they don't mark how big they are. They just say 3 and 5 on the side, which, I mean, these do too, but this is, this is more straightforward to me that it's got the measurements. And I've got just like, I've got one of the generic, like, Fine, brush, medium tip, they don't even say at all what they are. I do use the brush one sometimes though, because it's good for varying like line widths and stuff. And then I have this random pack, I don't have all, the, have all of them here, but I've got this pack where it's like all brush pens and they're all different kinds of gray. I don't know what I would do with different kinds of gray, but I've got them. <laughs> they were a gift to me. And then I used to just solely do Sharpies. I have the double-sided ones, I've got just the fine ones, I've got the thick ones. Before I got nice drawing pens, this is what I did, was just Sharpies. And it, oh, it stunk so bad, but like, I've still got so many left over. Sometimes I use them when I need something extra, extra thick. Oh god, that sounds bad. Um, when I need a really thick line that I don't have a pen for here. Um, and then I've got just this generic colored pencil and other things compartment. I use my Prism Prismacolors mostly, but I've got a lot of Crayolas and stuff. The Prismacolors I have is a 24 pack, and I've got two of that, but I don't have much else. So these are just kind of fill-in colors for what I don't really have or that blend really well with it. And I've got a couple gel pens and stuff in here that are just kind of thrown in. I've been going through stuff and putting things in here and taking them out, so it's kind of a mess with these guys, but... I've got short ones, long ones, and like I said, these are just kind of that I've got from like school and stuff. They're not anything special that I went out and bought. And then lastly, I've got my Prismacolor set. And I've got a couple others that I've bought on the side, because with the Prismacolors you can buy them all in one pack or you can buy just, you know, individually. So I've got the 24 pack here, and this is usually what I'll color with. And then the other colors are just kind of in case I need them. And I like this set pretty well. I've actually got a couple of my um, individual pencils put in here instead of the ones that came in the pack, but I put in what I like and what I use more. And then it's just easy access. I've got it all right there. And yeah, that's kind of just what I use right now and some of what I don't even use, but what I keep here. And yeah, that's usually what I have to the side of me when I do my Watch Me Draw video. It's just right, it's all right here. If I need it, I can kind of sort through. And it's convenient for me. And it's huge, so I can carry everything. <laughs> so that's my pencil box. I have other art supplies, but drawing's the thing that's been the most personal for me. Like, other hobbies will come and go. I'll do them for like a week. But when I was little, a lot of other people just wanted control. And it was kind of hard, you know. They wanted me to be a teacher, be a mom, and do all this other stuff. And I don't really like kids. They wanted me, me to be a nurse. I don't like blood. And I was supposed to get married by now and all this other stuff. But drawing was something that was just for me. And I didn't have to be good at it. I didn't have to compare to anyone. I didn't have to sell it or anything. It was just a very personal kind of like a therapy almost. And... I don't know, it's kind of hard to talk about sometimes, but really, if you like to draw, don't worry about other people. Just do what you like to do. It's not about other people. It's about what you want to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go, I am i don't want to keep ranting about it, but if you like doing something, and if it's something that makes you happy, and doesn't hurt you, of course, I think you should do that and do it for you, and don't worry about other people. You can share it, but don't, don't make your life about other people because it's going to make you miserable. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking, but you guys have a good day. Thanks for listening to me babble and watching my video. <laughs> Thank you.